Hello. So it is currently, what day is it Jasper? Wednesday and I'm so excited for the next couple weeks. I feel like holiday season is officially here and while it can be a pretty stressful time, I love like decorating. I love thinking about what I'm gonna be eating and trying new things to cook. And I actually just did a question on Instagram asking you guys if it's too early to put up a Christmas tree. Let me know, are you team before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving? Because I think the past few years I've been before Thanksgiving and I just love the idea of having a tree up. And if I can have it up a little bit longer, then that is perfectly fine with me. But I asked you guys, cause I was like, is a week before Thanksgiving too early? And a lot of you guys responded with like, absolutely not. And it's just so funny cause scrolling through, it's just like all of you just completely sympathizing with me that you've had it up for even before now so it just makes me so happy that it is that time of year and i have the christmas tree in that huge body bag looking thing hey guys i have a little haul for you with the holidays coming up i have been searching for holiday looks for like parties and for new years and white fox boutique has a bunch of cute stuff right now and they actually sent me so many cute pieces and I had to share. The first dress, I love this color so much. I think this is such a beautiful shimmery long dress. It kind of reminds me of like Y2K. My stepmom had a really similar dress that I have a picture and I was wearing like lipstick for the first time and like little heels and I had like my hair dyed to my makeup. That was like the first memory I've ever had with like getting dressed up. So. I don't know why, this kind of just like reminds me of that, so I just love this dress so much for that reason. The next dress is this long black dress that has really pretty lace detailing in the front and it has a nice slit. I like how flowy it is and just like the little details really make it special. A oh, hummingbird just flew up here, that was so cute. Okay. All right, next dress is this knit off the shoulder look and it's a longer dress with a slit in the back, which I really like. I feel like when you have a knit long dress, it can kind of be too tight where you can't do like a full stride when you walk, which I'm not a fan of because it's already hard enough as is to walk in heels, but especially with like a long dress on that doesn't allow you to like take a full step. Um, this doesn't have that issue and it actually has a kind of like nice hourglass figure because it is like a knit and I really like it. I think it's pretty comfortable for a formal slash like date night look and can be worn like throughout the year. So I thought this was really, really cute. And another long dress that I love is this red dress. You guys already know I absolutely love long red dresses in the past like for prom i yeah those were the dresses and that hasn't changed a red long dress will always hold a special place in my heart i think it's just a great bold um statement kind of dress that's so elegant so timeless and so i had to show you guys this dress it's such a unique um, neckline with the kind of cowl neck but it still has that like corset bodice that's more structured underneath which i really like and the mermaid effect of the lower half of the dress is so pretty and it's just like a really good quality dress too all right i have three more dresses and these are all shorter dresses the first one is and then I also had this really beautiful long beige dress that I forgot to talk about but I did try it on and I had to include it because I love this overall silhouette and the open back and the color is just really nice and neutral so you can dress it up or down really easily. Alright, I have three more dresses and these are all shorter dresses. The first one is this beautiful white lacy dress and I thought this was so cute with a white bow and with some little dainty accessories it's just a super feminine look and it's perfect for our winter time you can wear this with like a cream colored um, fur coat or like a 
overcoat on top of this for a date night look as well and the little lace detailing on the bottom I think is really adorable too. The next dress is this beautiful yellow dress. I love this look. I think it's so cute with the little bow detail on the shoulder. It's like a little velvet bow and it's just super cute and feminine. And I see myself wearing this also during the springtime. Light loose curls in my hair and like with a bouquet in my hands and really cute little sandals. Last dress I'll be showing you is this beautiful black dress. You just can't go wrong with a little black dress. And this is a really unique piece. I love the little rhinestone kind of diamond straps and bodice. It has like a nice structured top brassiere part and then the open for the kind of like this area not like quite all the way under boob but just right below it's definitely for like a more party look i don't have a ton of dresses like this anymore so i'm excited just to have like a newer piece that is a little bit more on the sultry side and I really, really like this look, especially with like a nice black um, kind of glittery, shimmery diamond purse. And I also have some heels that look really cute with this too. I'm also wearing this dress, which is also from White Fox, which I think was really cute with this bow. If you liked any of these pieces, be sure to use my promo code, which I'll include in the description box below. I hope that you like some of these pieces and have a great, wonderful holiday season. I love this set so much. It's just a simple black set, but this top I think is really cute with the logo. White Fox has a ton of cute activewear. So they have White Fox Active and White Fox Swim, and they have such cute looks that just match really well. And then I also have a white set that's super cute. I'll try on a bit. And there's also the option of Afterpay for US, Australia, and New Zealand customers. And don't forget to use my promo code for 15% off, and that's Vivian V. And that excludes sale and collabs. So I'm going to go ahead and try on the next set. So here is that white set I was talking about. It's so cute. I just love this fit for like tennis or golf or pickleball. This tank top I think would look really cute with even like jeans or just like any other skirt. And I'm going to Mexico in a couple of weeks. I'm going to put this in my carry-on. You know the feeling of like when you are coming from a really cold place and you go to a warm place and you get off the plane and it's just like this overwhelming feeling of warm weather and humidity but then you start like going to the baggage claim and trying to get like a taxi and trying to get to your hotel and you get all sweaty i always pack a comfortable outfit for me to change into once i land that way like the first part of my trip i'm just completely acclimated to that climate so this is the perfect outfit for that just because it's like a full outfit there's shorts underneath so i don't have to worry about like you know wearing a skirt but it's so just like easy relaxed flowing get all that i need to get done and look put together so yeah this will definitely be that fit all right so i worked out this morning and i didn't film because there's someone else in the gym this tree is nine feet tall i've had it for like six years now and I love it so much but it's like really really heavy and tall this is the bag for it I just finished the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo which was so good Evelyn Hugo yeah and I'm currently listening to this book
looks so scary. This looks like the back of my head. <laughs> okay, jump scare. Good morning, guys. Today is, what's today? Wednesday? Thursday, even better. I want to do like a little update about my birth control. And I just wanted to mention it because it's been a while, but this is like a daily practice of mine that I've been doing. It's going off of birth control hormonally. I just feel like I, I want to be able to work with my body's natural cycles. And I just want to quickly mention that if you've tried natural cycles or are thinking of it, you have the option of doing an aura ring, which is a different um, like thing in itself. I was really confused about this. so. It's basically this ring that you wear and it will sync up to your natural cycles because the one thing that I actually don't like, which is the most important thing when it comes to tracking your cycle, is you have to take your temperature every day and I wasn't doing that and I just didn't feel like that was something I was going to have an easy time doing. And so the Aura Ring actually it will tell you your temperature every single morning because you're wearing it all the time. You don't have to actually physically like press, take temperature or keep track of it. It tracks like how much sleep you get, what kind of sleep, how long you're in REM, how long you are in light sleep when you wake up in the middle of the night, um, how many steps you get. I was just about to log in today's mood. So that's why I wanted to mention it. So right now I'm in my follicular cycle. So highly recommend the aura ring with the natural cycles if you are currently looking for a non-hormonal way to do birth control. Hey guys, I'm about to go on a little lunch date with my sister and I wanted to get ready before. I've been trying to figure out how to do my hair. I got this shark um, styler, what's it called? Like flex style I think, a couple months ago. And I forgot I had it and I recently got my hair recut. The layers are a lot better for styling like in a blowout. I've been loving my day products. I'm a huge fan of Amber Filler Up and these smell so good. All right, I'm gonna take these out real quick. It turned out better than I thought it would. I only had them in for like 15 minutes, so I think if I left them in even longer, they would have looked better. Okay, let's get better lighting. All right, hair done, makeup done. I'm gonna change real quick. Before I forget, I need to put in my finishing products. I love this Living Proof. Um, the control hairspray then the day styling cream is, is such a good smelling product I didn't get enough time to set and my hair was slightly damp since I just washed it and I tried to blow dry it but I don't think it was dried all the way but we got the goal of texture not perfection all right I have to really go I don't know about you but The days are officially getting shorter and it's been pretty gray and dark. Like it's right now 9.30 in the morning and it feels like just not very nice out. I kind of get the occasional little bit of seasonal depression. So 
I'm just trying to find ways to keep myself moving and finding different like creative outlets and making sure you're taking those vitamin D pills and all that. But I'm about to go grocery shopping. I like to go on Sundays or Mondays and just stock up the fridge for the whole week. That way dinners are pretty much always just at home and I have kind of my rotation of the different meals I like to make throughout the week. And I have this little board. It's a menu board so I can plan every day's dinners and there's like a shopping list. And I just love this little kind of setup. I think it really helps as far as like organizing and just planning meals. And we've been sticking to it for the past couple. Um, it's been like two months of having this, so it's been really nice. And I don't know, it reminds me of like growing up in elementary school, writing on a dry erase board. I personally love doing that. So it's kind of fun. Oh, this is heavy. All right. Just went grocery shopping. Time for a little Trader Joe's haul. I am so tired today. It's just one of those days, you know? Like, I just don't feel like getting ready. I worked out this morning and it probably helped but not feeling very energized I just finished my period too so maybe that's why like I'm not like in a bad mood I'm just tired anyways got some healthy bread some broccoli some cheese Brussels sprouts salad Clay loves sweet potatoes and these are nice because they're already like peeled and diced so we can just have it as like a side. Some mushrooms for the spaghetti squash I'm gonna make. And I love spaghetti squash so much. It's so easy and healthy. This is a great alternative to using pasta and what I do is I just cut it in half and Trader Joe's has these perfectly sized single portion ones because I find that the big ones kind of go to waste and they're harder to cut and also these fit perfectly in an air fryer so they cook in an air fryer pretty quick versus like an oven so they're at trader joe's these ones are about three dollars each right now which is actually a really good deal so i got two one for clay one for me some kombucha i'm listening to podcasts and kind of learning more about gut health and i actually hated kombucha before and then for some reason, I don't know where I just love it and I've been drinking it on a weekly basis and I find that when I don't drink it, I tend to get more bloating. So I think it's actually a really great just like habit to instill is drinking like probiotics and kombucha is a great source of just healthy gut bacteria. I've got my spray for the air fryer, some spicy honey. This is super good with edamame and sriracha. Speaking of, that's my little snack. Peanut butter, then every night, Clay and I, we drink tea before bed. We're like old people. We go to bed at like 8, 8.30, and we're like asleep by nine. And these teas are so great right before bed. It's really just nice and relaxing, and it has a little bit of peppermint and chamomile. So the chamomile is obviously like really relaxing. So I got a couple boxes just so we always have some. I got some bananas and I like to put these in my protein shakes every morning. And then I got some wellness shots. Vitamin D is so vital right now, this time of year. There's just like no sun and it really affects like your mood. This Italian sausage is so yummy in the air fryer also just like added into a pasta sauce so i'm going to make this with some raw spaghetti marinara sauce and use it with the spaghetti squash so good and then i got some steak for tonight so we're gonna have some steak and some sweet potatoes and asparagus for dinner tonight hope you like this haul my lips were so chapped the whole time i was talking this is my favorite lip balm right now by summer fridays i always have it this is my third one 
and it is in brown sugar. It's just like the perfect color and consistency. Hydration check, make sure you're drinking your water. I've drank so much more water since I've had my Stanley and I know it's basic, but honestly, usually when things are basic, it's because like there's a good reason to like it. And I don't think there's anything wrong with being basic. Especially if it's good for you. So I made this DIY Polaroid frame and I wanted to show you guys how I did it because I think it's such a great way to display all the Polaroid pictures you've been collecting and it's also like a really good gift for the holidays. I started with this frame from Target which is actually $35 and then I used my Polaroid printer which is super nice because you can directly pick and choose whatever pictures you have on your phone and print them out and they print on the film of like mini Polaroids so it develops and everything just like a normal Polaroid does. This DIY is so simple. All you have to do is flip that sample picture that was in the frame over so it's on the blank side and then use double-sided tape to tape all of the Polaroids on and that's it. Hey guys, so I'm going to make lunch right now and I'm gonna make the air fryer spaghetti squash. I am listening to an audiobook right now and it is Aquatar. I have been listening to a lot of audiobooks as well as reading on my Kindle and I typically don't read or listen to fantasy. I've only read Fourth Wing which I liked but I'm a huge reader of like of like personal development books and psychology also like romance and mysteries and this has been hard for me to get into not gonna lie but I did ask you guys on Instagram what your opinion was on Aquatar because a lot of you recommended me this book and you all said that it's worth it and that the first book is slow but the second and third book make it all worth it so I'm just hanging in there so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and make lunch and listen to my audiobook <laughs> 